Where is it? Where's your piece of paper? No, it was underneath the paper. God, so that's <laughs> flipping huge. In just one week, Grenada shares with us that's the most revolting the and the most go. beautiful it has to offer. This time tomorrow will be on the road. We are Steve and Annette, and with our little pooch Gus, we live on our Venus 46 catch. Our lives are simple. We're going to sail as far as we can for as long as we can, and we want to share it all with you. I know there could be worse places to be stuck, but right at this moment, we are. We are stuck in Grenada. The hurricane season has already started in the Caribbean and we've got to get this fitted because at the moment we feel very vulnerable being stuck without an engine that isn't going to get us away fast. You're not that tall, Steve. Steve, you're not that tall. I am. I'm growing. Anyway, a little update. You I'll need to hold it up. A little update. This is the old pump. The old one was leaking from in these gaps here where the seals basically shot. So it's a little bit different to the one that you saw earlier with the black bit round, but anyway, we've got it fitted. It's all working perfectly. Now we're on to the next thing. Do, you, do I look a little bit glisteny? A little bit little shimmery? It's not a body shimmer that I've got on. Uh, I, uh, perhaps I look like a Greek god. Uh, no, it's... Um... <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> hey, if you don't think I look like a Greek god... Nobody else will. Nobody else will. Um, anyway, the old one's out, new one's in. Cordelia's back to full strength. I'm happy. Hopefully you can hear me because um, I am sat above the engine at the moment. But this is really as a, uh, just a thank you to my husband. I know I might have travelled several thousands of miles to get the uh, part for the engine, the raw water pump, uh, but it's taken him two days to fix because like all things on a boat, you think it's going to take a few hours and it takes days. Anyway, he's done a fantastic job. And just to prove it, there you go. That's definitely flowing out a lot more water than before. Well done, Dylan. Very good. Living in a sweat box. Yeah. I haven't got sweat in the pants, so pants are wet. Well, I think. Yeah. Our latest patron! Energy King! Where is it? Where's your piece of paper? No, it was underneath the paper. Oh, that is big. Oh my god. <laughs> Flipping huge. Are you sure that's not a cockroach? No, it's got bloody wings. The cockroach does have wings. You know what I said to you the other day that I thought I saw something? Yeah. That was it. Yeah? Yeah, it's something like that, yeah. You don't kill it. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna what? throw it. Well no, on the other hand, Steve, it's all wooden good use. <laughs> what the fuck is it? <laughs> <laughs> Why would it make a noise like that? It sounds like a duck. <laughs> Annette, you killed fish, just like, you're going to have to deal with it. <laughs> you're just, a kid, aren't you? Just, Why have I got to deal with it? <laughs> just man up. Uh, cup. Get me a cup. One of those plastic jar cups. You know, no, you know what I'm talking about. What, a beaker? Yeah, yeah. And then a piece of paper or cardboard.
<coughs> Problem is, we can't see it, can we? Now look. What is it? Why is it making that horrible noise? I don't know. We'll get us the light. I'm not lifting it up because it'll, it'll go mad. Yeah, just go and throw it outside. Look at his eyes! Oh! Yeah, we'll go and throw it outside. Oh, oh God! Get here, I'll take this. I like the way that I'm having to deal with this, Steve. This is ridiculous. Yeah, well, you're good at like. <coughs> don't be stupid. Just get back out of it. And don't do one of your girly throws. See, the problem is you're telling me not to kill it, right? What we don't need is it coming back in again. And I am convinced that it is, but that is definitely what I saw when I said to you. Yeah? Yeah. Are you shining it down? You're not shining it on me. See, it's still alive. It needs to go. It needs to go that way. What the? Why is it coming back? Why is it coming back? I don't know. We need some fish to come along and eat it. It'd have to be a bloody big fish. Having experienced one of the most skin crawling things that the Caribbean has to offer in this humid weather, we then experienced one of the most beautiful things in the Caribbean. We knew the sculptures were here, but it wasn't until they started to appear in the haze of the sun that we felt an eeriness that made you want to see more. The circle of life-sized figures of local children with all their eyes closed was one of many we saw. Made of concrete, they are creating substrates for corals, giving them more life and colour. Created by Jason Decares, they were installed in 2006 and we absolutely loved them.
substandard nature made with only a few little snippets of bacon now it's full of bacon and has actually got an egg in it as well two eggs two eggs well that's it and it's dripping out that's what that's what a sandwich should do a sandwich should fall apart whilst you're trying to get it in your mouth and then you have to dip it into the egg yolk like that. that's a proper sandwich well once a year is fine isn't it for a proper sandwich it's like 364 days to go to Christmas. Oh no, sandwich day. I'm thinking of making you a new costume, you see. That's like a, what do they call it? Oh, yes, what? A mankini. Oh. It's a reversed mankini. <laughs> 